everyone, today's video is going to be my empties video for the month of February for 2020. So I'm just going to go through everything I used up this month, let you know how I feel about it, if I purchased it again or not. So let's get started. First I have the Crest 3D White Diamond Strong mouthwash. I really like this mouthwash. I do have bad teeth as far as they um, uh, I get cavities a lot, so I do think this helps. I was using another mouthwash and I didn't like it near as well, so I did go ahead and repurchase this. And this bottle is recyclable, so that's always good. Oh, this is one of them. Let me see. Where are my little babies? I have two. Here it is. So I do have these two little miniature mouthwashes. I actually got them at a hotel. Um, and I used this when I finished up this guy, but I used these two up, so I went and bought a new one. Um, these don't say that they're recyclable on the thing. Like on the bottom anywhere, which is disappointing, but I didn't really like them that much anyway. Next, I finally used this up. I'm pretty sure this came with me from Gainesville. Um, I got this, I want to say from Influencer a, a very long time ago. But it's the Body Envy Volumizing Shampoo. Um, it was fine. It didn't do anything that I really noticed, and I didn't really like the scent of it. But this is a recyclable, bo recyclable bottle, and um, I'm glad that this giant thing is out of my shower. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure I got that in Gainesville. And I graduated from undergrad five years ago in 2015. So there you go. I finished up this um, toner. And this toner bottle is recyclable. And also this brand is called Nourish Botanical Beauty. I got this, I'm pretty sure, from TJ Maxx. And it is part of the 1% for the planet. You can tell by this right here. And I looked up what that means. And it means that this company... Um, is part of this organization that has pledged to give 1% uh, of their pros proceeds to different uh, charities that help for sustainability for the planet. So I'm a huge fan of that. really like this. The toner was fine. I didn't notice it really doing anything. It wasn't offensive, but it wasn't great. But I do like um, that it's good for the planet. I used up this. Uh, this is the Boots Botanics Hydration Burst Dual Action Cleanser. Nothing great. It was a very thin cleanser, um, and I don't feel like it really, like, I didn't feel, like, super clean afterwards, but I don't know. I didn't, or, like, very hydrated afterwards either. I'm just kind of ho-hum about this. Um, it does say it's got a sustainability commitment, but I don't know, I don't know what that means. Like, I, I couldn't find anything on that about, about that online. Um, I don't think this is, like, normally recyclable, but I can TerraCycle it, I'm pretty sure. And we have a TerraCycle at our live our, at our zoo so that's how i tear a cycle i used up my first bottle of this punky color depositing shampoo and conditioner i have already purchased another one i love this stuff it um, really helps keep my hair pink and vibrant i just recently made a video about it i've tried the Kara color color depositing shampoo as well don't like it near as much highly recommend this one if you want a very vibrant shade if you want like a pink tint the Kara color would be better but i like a vibrant pink um and this bottle is recyclable, so I'm excited about that. I did, I have repurchased this, um, and I really like it. I'm going to keep my hair pink until, I don't know, I think I'm going on my bachelorette party in September, so maybe after my bachelorette I'll go back brown. Haven't completely decided. I used up, I think I used up two of these. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Maybe just this one. This is the Basanti Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator. Um, so it's pretty much just a microdermabrasion face scrub. I did like it. Um, I got this when I still had Ipsy a very long time ago, so it is an older product. Um, I don't know. I've got a bunch of these kind of things that I'd go through and maybe use buy this again. I don't know. I, I don't have, like, super strong feelings about it. Oh, yes. I used up the Tom's... Um, Fluoride free rapid relief sensitivity toothpaste. I wanted to try this. This tube is made out of post consumer plastic. It's also um, terracyclable. All toothpaste tubes are, I believe. Um, and Tom's is really um, a brand that makes sustainability one of its like first priorities, which I love. But I didn't like this toothpaste. I didn't think it did near as well as my normal um, Sensodyne Pro Enamel. So I'm not purchasing this again, but I did try it. And so. You know, I would like to be able to use it. It's just my teeth are so bad and that didn't do great. Um, I did, I had some sheet masks. I'm not going to purchase sheet masks anymore because I don't feel like they're super great for the environment. Plus, I'm terrible about masking. I always forget to do it. But I have this one and it's, 
um, Essential Oil Therapy by My Beauty Spot. And it's got sweet almond and macadamia oil. It's just a typical sheet mask. I do feel like um, it was really, really saturated when I took it out of the package and I used it. It was fine. I didn't notice anything great. I never, I haven't ever really noticed anything amazing from sheet masks, but I liked it. But again, I just wouldn't purchase sheet masks again. Okay, I used up this lip gloss. It's completely gone, as you can look in there and see. Um, this is from the Lorac Beauty and the Beast collection that came out a few years ago. It's the shade True Beauty. I have, um, this came in a set of four, no, five lip glosses. So this is the first one I've used up of it. It's fine. I don't think I really like lip glosses. If we're just being honest, I like lipsticks a lot better. So I don't think I purchased that again and I can't that's retired anyway and I'm not a big fan of nude lips and that's obviously a nude color so for a lot of reasons I don't think I'd purchase it again I feel like my part's a little severe today how do we feel about that that's a little better okay next I cut this open um, but it's this Der Bioderma Sensa Bio Light Cream um, so I used this as a day cream it was completely fine but it was just fine I don't know I have never I guess that's not true. I mean, I just didn't, I don't feel like it was anything amazing that I should like write home about and be like, you need to buy this. It was just a, a cream, you know. All right, let me, oh, I wanted to show you all this. Okay, let me empty out my thing. Okay, I finished up the Not Your Mother's Curl Top Cur Act Curl Activating Mousse. Um, this made my hair really crunchy, so I didn't like it um, and I wouldn't purchase it again. It is recyclable though, that's great. And I like the Not Your Mother's brand. Um, I like a couple of other products, but this was a no from me. I used up the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. I used to really like this as a day cream, um, and it's possible that this just got old. You know, that's one of the things about having like a back stock of anything is things get old. Um, but I don't, I didn't feel like this time when I used it, it really did anything amazing. Um, I've had a min a size like this and a full size of this before and I like it um, It gives you enough. It's a very hydrating cream, but it's not super thick. So it works nice in the day um, But this time I just wasn't as impressed Okay, this is not counting as an empty But you know when people have a bunch of mascaras and they they're unopened. So it's like, oh, that's fine I'll just leave them. They go bad. And so I had this Too Faced lash extension injection mascara and I went to open it up do you see this? It. I tried to pull it out. I pulled out the stopper and the mascara. This is like the actual mascara itself. Isn't that gross? So I'm showing you this to show you that when you have a back stock of stuff, it still goes bad. And this is gross. I don't, I don't know. Like, obviously I'm not using this on my eyes because it's, it's literally impossible. Um, but just like further um, reinforcement, I guess, that you don't need a back stock of stuff because this is bad, it's not usable, this entire product was is a waste now. Um, so another reason why I have my goal makeup numbers, I've made a video about that, and I really wanna stick to that and get down my makeup collection to those numbers and not get above them again because when you have a bunch of stuff, like it just goes bad. Um, I used up another lip product this month, so I had a good lip product month, and this is um, the Bessemé Snow White collection. I love these little lipsticks. They're so pretty. Um, so they say Snow White, and there's seven minis, and each one has a little dwarf on it. This one is the sneezy one. It was a nice kind of berry shade. I got to where I couldn't put it on my lips anymore, and if I was down to my goal makeup numbers, which is where I'd have five lip colors, I might dig it out, but I have like over 200 lip products, which is gross. Um, so I don't want to dig it out. So yeah, um, this is gone. I liked it. I couldn't purchase it again. Also, I do find that like after a while, the Bessemer lipsticks get a little drying. So I don't think I'd purchase another Bessemer lipstick, but I really like them and they're beautiful. And then the last product is this, um, another makeup. Well, I just threw that. Another makeup item. It's the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's just in the black shade. I like this eyeliner. Um, I think it's got a really nice little nib that makes it really easy to draw on a wing. Do y'all see that? So people have asked, this is from the pink shampoo. It does kind of stain your skin. It doesn't last super long, um, but I used it this morning. So there you go. 
in case you were wondering. Um, but I like this eyeliner a lot. Um, it is expensive, so I don't know that I'd purchase it again. I feel like there's other better or like similar products at the drugstore for a lot cheaper. But there you go. And that is my empties video. I feel like I went through that really, really quickly. Um, I do have to go to school. I have a, and I don't have like a meeting right now, but I guess that's why. But yeah, um, that's everything I used up this month. I'm excited by using up my stuff, especially like the makeup stuff that I know I don't have to purchase again and getting through some of my like skincare back stock. Um, but as I always say, like I'm not trying to get through everything really quickly because I don't want to be wasteful. And like looking at this pile of recyclables and trash, like it's both, I know that all of this is product I've used and it's waste I've created. So, you know, you have to use some things just to like survive uh, in America at least. Uh, like I have to wear clothes and stuff, but I, you know, I don't want to be wasteful. I don't want to just use stuff up to use stuff up. So I'm trying to be mindful of that. And if it means that some of my empties videos are smaller, I'm okay with it. I do feel like this was a really large empties video. Um, but I am confident knowing I didn't like waste any of the product. So that's all I have for y'all today. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And I'll just see y'all real soon. Bye.